The first Green Umbrella concert of the season features the founders of New York's innovative uh, new music ensemble uh, and collective, Bang in a Can. Uh, founded in the late 1980s by three recent Yale graduates, Michael Gordon, David Lang, and Julia Wolf, uh, they founded the Bang in a Can as a place to present uh, their music, uh, this, their genre-defying music, uh, in a very fractured new music world, which was New York in the late 80s. Over the last 20 years, it's grown into one of the most influential new music series anywhere in the world, uh, and regularly features the music of the founders, considered second-generation minimalist composers following on the work of Terry Riley and Philip Glass and, and Steve Reich. Their music is as much influenced by those uh, musical mavericks from the 1960s and 70s as it is by uh, the music, uh, the rock and roll legends and jazz legends that they were all listening to as teenagers and as college students. Uh, the music is, is rhythmic and, and propulsive and haunting and beautiful. And the program that we have uh, on this Green Umbrella concert um, is a very good snapshot of, of their works. The first piece on the program is Michael Gordon's Weather One. And it's an excerpt uh, from his multi-movement work, Weather, for string sextet. And it is a motoric, chaotic, uh, musical uh, representation of changing weather patterns. And it's almost Vivaldi-like in its, in its string writing. We first uh, featured Michael's music a couple of years ago on our uh, Minimalist Jukebox Festival from 2006 and we presented his piece Decasia, which was a collaborative work that he did with the filmmaker Bill Morrison. And based on that experience, that extraordinary work, we commissioned Michael and Bill to create a, a work for us in 2008, which became Dystopia and was featured on our, our, our Concrete Frequency Festival. So we're thrilled to kind of have this piece as a part of this program and to, and to launch this program. We have two works by Julia Wolf, uh, two quartets, but two very different quartets. Uh, the first is a piece early that summer for string quartet, and it was inspired uh, by uh, a book that Julie was reading in the, in the early 90s about uh, recent uh, American uh, uh, political uh, activities. And it seemed that each time she was reading one of those uh, chapters, it started with the phrase, early that summer, and that gave the inspiration for this string quartet. The second piece that we're doing of Julia's um, Dark Full Ride could, is, a, is on the opposite end of the spectrum. It's a quartet, but it's a quartet for four percussionists sitting at four trap sets. And it is an extraordinary work. It's this almost dance-like in the way that the percussionists are choreographing their kind of upper bodies and lower bodies around these four uh, 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 very, very unique instruments. The final two pieces on our program are works by David Lang, very, very different works. The first piece is his realization, his rethinking of Lou Reed's song, Heroin. And David uh, recreated the work for solo cello, for singer, Theo Beckman, who uh, originated the, the, who gave the first performance. The final piece on the program is a piece uh, pierced. And like the opening work on the program, features a string ensemble. The difference is, Pierced is like a concerto grosso, um, a dialogue between a small ensemble and the string ensemble. That small ensemble is for the solo instruments, cello, piano, and percussion. And, and I say it's a dialogue, but it's a, it's a dialogue with a twist. Uh, it's a dialogue between this small ensemble and the strings as if they were speaking through a wall. And you can only hear bits of the conversation, but those bits influence what comes next from each of uh, the respective ensembles.